Taking that perfect pick of your pooch can be a bit hit and miss sometimes. I know George and I have had some troubles, but I want to get a really nice shot for his Instagram. I've got Kerry here from Puppy Tales Photography. Kerry was Australian Pet Photographer of the Year in 2015, and she's going to give me some tips on how to get George looking schmicko for Instagram. How are you going, Kerry? I'm great, thank you. <laughs> so what can I do to get George looking really great on his Instagram profile? Okay, so I've got three main tips that I love to see in, in Instagram photos. So the first one is eye contact. Getting your dog looking straight at you when you're taking the photo makes a beautiful photo. I also love it when you see photos and they're taken lower perspective. So we get down at dog's eye level and then it's really engaging. Sometimes it's a little bit quirky and it's a totally different point of view from what we usually see of our dogs when we're standing up and, and looking down on them. And the third tip is personality. It's really important to capture your dog's true personality, what they're really like, and to do it in a safe and fun and happy way. Okay, so getting George's attention. So George is a big fan of a ball. Would you use a treat or something? Or what's the technique? Yeah, so knowing what your dog is fascinated in or what interests them the most. So we can see with George, he loves his ball. George? Yeah, it gets his attention. Some dogs are treat motivated. Other dogs love sounds. So you might squeak or have a squeaker, you might bark at them sometimes and that just gets their contact like George has nearly not stopped looking at me now because I've got his ball in his hand so that's perfect for taking photos. So does it mean you've got to become quite skilled at taking a photo with one hand because you've got the treat or ball in the other hand? Yeah it's certainly going to be helpful if you can operate your camera with one hand and then have another hand free to hold a treat, hold a toy and, and use that to help you with getting the photo or get myself a photography assistant. Yeah, ideally, that'd be wonderful, wouldn't it? <laughs> now, getting down to George's level, I'm not an old man, but the knees are starting to get a little sore. Any tips on, on how to get down there or maybe get George up to my level? Yeah, you can certainly bring them up off the ground. So if you've got a bench or a chair, you can pop them up and then you don't have to get quite as low. Or you can still even lie down flat because then you get like really into their world, like really at their level. And personality. Obviously, it's the most important part of the shoot. George has some very unique characteristics. How do I get them in the photo? Yeah, George has got a fabulous, enthusiastic personality. So that's what we want to capture. We're going to work with him. We're going to make it fun. We're going to keep it light. For him, we're going to use his ball because he loves that and that gets his attention and that's his personality is wrapped in that ball. Fantastic. Thanks very much, Kerry. If you want to get some more tips, check out Kerry's website. In the meantime, George and I have got a photo shoot to do, don't we, mate? Ball. Go fetch. Woo! <laughs>